I'm looking at various programs. Obviously, there's different things that each person's gonna look for and things that are gonna draw you to a place, but it was on the day that I interviewed that being able to experience the camaraderie and the joking and the having fun together, despite the serious work, that made this seem like a more enjoyable place to train. Well, we have a very busy ICU that serves a wide area of our state. So our fellows get exposed to patients in different stages, high acuity disease in the ICU. We have specialized programs in ECMO, pulmonary hypertension, where our specialists do their own right heart cath, so fellows get exposed to that. We have dedicated interventional pulmonary services, both at the University Hospital as well as at the VA Hospital, with advanced diagnostic and therapeutic bronchoscopies. Recently, we've had increased emphasis on outpatient pulmonary clinics. We, uh, in addition to your general pulmonary clinic that fellows have throughout their fellowship, we've added rotations, clinic rotations that are scheduled in block rotations where fellows get exposed to the multitude of subspecialty clinics, whether it be thoracic oncology, pulmonary hypertension, cystic fibrosis, interstitial lung disease, or asthma. At the VA, Dr. Calangeri is an interventional pulmonologist and with the work that he's created and the patients he's cared for, he's been able to obtain quite a few different modalities for bronchoscopy that may not be seen elsewhere. The biggest one or the most prominent is now the robot, so he'll do robotic bronchoscopy to be able to get diagnostic samples from very peripheral nodules. And so the experience of being hands-on with the robot and participating in those cases is something I think that pulmonology is moving towards as a specialty and so to be able to get in on that at the ground level as a fellow is pretty phenomenal. So in addition to excellent clinical training and a robust educational curriculum, we want our fellows to be well versed in every facet of process improvement, quality improvement, leadership roles. Our fellows participate in ICU oversight committees, they're on hospital-wide initiatives for improvement, and we also emphasize teaching. Um, they're involved in medical student teaching, um, nursing, RT student teaching, as well as teaching themselves, other fellows and, and residents. The people really make this program both from how they teach and the opportunities they give to our trainees, but just how they make you feel when you're here. You know, it doesn't feel quite like a job. It feels like you're, you're going to, to hang out with your friends for, you know, seven to 12 hours a day. I go to work each day loving my job and it's more of a hobby and to go in each day knowing I'm making a difference in people's lives and also that I'm, I really enjoy what I'm doing regardless of the rotation that I'm on with the faculty that cares about me as an individual and helps me reach my full potential, that's really what I was looking for. Our leadership here is exceptional, specifically within the division. Dr. Suna as program director, Dr. Hoffman as our division director, each of them care about us as individuals and making sure we are happy in our current positions, that we're learning and expanding, um, but that we're ultimately finding balance between our professional and then personal life to maintain a whole person. You get a complete fulfilling experience. So not only will you do well in terms of the people that you know and the outside of work activities that you get to do with them, but even within the hospital itself and within the training program, I feel like it was very thorough and I feel like I got to do pretty much everything that I wanted to do or train in. And that's why I feel very confident leaving that I'm gonna be okay once I'm done and once I actually go into clinical practice. We've had fellows uh, since I've been here four years ago who've left the program and went through COVID after leaving our program and I have yet to hear from one that said I wasn't prepared for my job for my life after fellowship and I think that's a very rare and unique thing to hear especially in, in the time of COVID to say I wasn't overwhelmed by what I saw or what I dealt with and I think that's what makes us an excellent program is that we, we prepare you for life after training.